Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with teacher Ira. This time, children, we will go to more internal body parts from head to toe. But before that, let us go back to the first five internal organs that we had learned last time. Can you still remember? Okay, what is that organ in my head? Great, the brain. How about here? Very good, the heart. How about here? Great, my lungs, which extends until my back. How about in my tummy? Very good, my stomach. How about the one that we had learned that was right under my rib cage and are attached to my spinal cord? Yes, the kidneys. This time, we will go to what is more inside of me. Are you excited to find out? I will not use my magic tablet anymore because it is so big. It would include my head going to my feet. And I will get now my magic x-ray machine. Here is my magic x-ray machine and with the help of my magic remote control, I'm gonna show you what's inside my body from head to toe. I am now ready to show you what's inside my body with the help of my magic remote control. At the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, what can you see now, children? Ooh, what do you call that? It starts with letter M. And that covers actually the whole part of my body and your body. Your face has it, your heart has it, and your arms and your legs. In a short while, I will show you my legs and even what's on my head. But now, let us us take a guess do you call these parts of our body as I've said a while ago it starts with letter M so what is it mm, muscles yes we call these muscles I have muscles you also have muscles these muscles cover our bones and they give shape to our body now I will show you my leg can you see my legs? And now, the muscles in my face. Were you able to see that, kids? Now, a while ago I told you that these muscles cover our bones. Are you ready to see my bones? I am going to show you my bones. Ready? At the count of three, one, two, three. <gasps> Do you see my bones? Are you scared of my bones? The body of the human being is made up of, when it comes to children like you, you got at least 270 bones, but with an adult, they have 206 bones. Children, these bones form the framework of our body and the reason why we can move and we can stand. That is because of your skeleton or your bones. I am going to show you the bone in my head. This bone is so hard and this covers my brain. Ready? That is what you call skull. What do you call that? Skull. Skull is a bone that covers your head and that is also protecting your brain. Kids, the human body is made up of bones and muscles. These bones are being covered by the muscles and they are the reason why we can do a lot of things. We can stand, we can walk and we have this body shape and body form. How are we going to make our muscles and our bones strong and healthy? We should eat, of course, fruits and vegetables, and we have to drink milk. The milk 
is rich in protein and calcium that would make the bone stronger. And also children, you should have your daily exercise so that your muscles would be firm and strong as well. I hope you had learned something today. Bye!